Skagit County, located in northwest Washington State, site at the foot of the Cascade Mountains to the east, home to a fertile valley boasting a variety of agricultural crops. The county was formed in 1883 and named for the Skagit Indian tribe indigenous to the area prior to European American settlement. World-famous tulip fields blanket the valley in millions of tulips every spring and are celebrated annually with the Tulip Festival. Nearby, ferries leave daily from Anacortes, transporting visitors from around the world to the beautiful San Juan Islands, where many come to whale watch and take in the majestic vistas. Mall Foster and Alonji, a leading environmental and planning firm based in the Pacific Northwest, was chosen by the county to remediate a brownfield property designated for a new state-of-the-art community justice center. The Skagit County Community Justice Center project was planned as far back as the 1980s and was needed to accommodate the growing number of inmates served by the county justice system. This was uh, formerly a gas station truck stop. It is also a brownfield site. The goal was to get this site cleaned up and construct the new Skagit County Community Justice Center on it. Other remedial options were considered, but given the proven track record of Regenesis bioremediation compounds, that was our deciding factor. Teaming with Regenesis, Mall Foster and Alonji chose a site cleanup approach that included ORC advanced pellets to be added to the excavation and backfill of the petroleum fuel contaminated area as an effective amendment solution addressing BTEX and TPHG and TPHD levels present in the groundwater and subsurface lithologies. Silty sand, silt, and sand. ORC advanced pellets are the dust minimizing, controlled release oxygen pellets used for enhanced aerobic biodegradation in excavations. Mall Foster and Alonji's site remediation plan included mixing 5,600 pounds of ORC advanced pellets with clean backfill soil through the area where over-excavation of petroleum-contaminated soil was being conducted as part of the remediation. I was actually involved in the, the oversight in the field and so I was you know, working hands-on with the ORCA pellets. It was a really simplified process. We were able to get a good mixture within the smear zone and uh, you know obviously we're seeing the results now so it was it was very effective. Mall Foster and Alonji is one of uh, one of our best clients here in the Northwest so um, we've had the opportunity to do quite a number of projects with them. They're a firm that is heavily involved in redevelopment of Brownfields projects so we kind of fit directly into their niche of providing solutions and being able to help them close their sites quickly. We did a cost analysis and presented to our client, Skagit County, with the subsurface conditions as we understand it, bioremediation went out for sure. And with respect to that, we have had such success, you know, working with uh, Regenesis team in the past to clean up site, to ultimately close out the sites and achieve the coveted no further action determination. Skagit County views this project as a success. Working with MFA and Regenesis and the Department of Ecology, we're able to achieve constructing this community justice center, which I said has been in the making for 15 years. If it wasn't for the help of Mal Foster and Longy and Regenesis, Skagit County would not be here today with a completed community justice center you see behind me.